Hello, and welcome to another Tuesday tip for 2023. While helping to conduct MORs in the field the last couple of months, I discovered some interesting EIV matters. When conducting an MOR, the reviewer is to check and confirm your EIV policies and procedures, the certified users, and the EIV data security. Findings are given in all of these areas. If you don't have EIB policies and procedures, you'll receive a finding. If you have not terminated expired users that are still listed for the property, whether they no longer work with you or whether they have different roles, you'll receive a finding. And as well as efforts to protect and secure EIB data. First, let's look at the EIB policies and procedures. They must contain detailed information for staff to know what procedures to take when it comes to EIV and the property. The thing is to make sure that you follow your own policies and procedures. If you say that you will pull certain reports at certain time frames, then the reviewer will be looking to verify those reports as per your policies and procedures. If you state that in the place of security, you have security measures, those will be observed as well. I have a great one for you that we will discuss when we look at security. The finding will be, however, that you did not follow the company's EIV policies and procedures. You didn't follow what you told the reviewer that you would do, your own company rules. Tune in next week and we will discuss removing expired users and coordinators. See you then.